Let's bring in Pat Pagano once again, Pat. Miserable start to the day yesterday, but an absolutely gorgeous end of the day. We had two of those. <laughs> back to back. Yeah, and uh, we may have another one like that on Monday. But prior to that, I think you'll find today to be a nice day, partly sunny, low 80s, low humidity. Partly cloudy tonight, mid-50s. Now for Saturday, it's cloudy. We could get some late showers. Uh, they are so insignificant. Uh, do not worry. Do not cancel your plans because of this chance of late showers in the mid-70s. Now, Sunday's a different story. A little bit of sun early, then showers and thunderstorms will bubble up in the afternoon. Uh, they will definitely be more widespread and uh, definitely more significant in the mid-70s. And it is those showers... That will end Monday, followed by partly sunny skies, and we go to 80 to 85 Monday afternoon. So, again, uh, as far as which day over the weekend we'll have more showers, it's definitely Sunday and not Saturday. Yeah, well, uh, so I guess, well, you know, but, you know, yesterday, I have to tell you, my knees yesterday, I could barely walk. Uh, the, 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 the ups and downs of the weather really, really make it bad. Um, but uh, today, I know it's going to be a good day. Why? My knees are great. <laughs> hmm. They're absolutely great. Uh, but I, yesterday was a real bad day. Uh, oh, gosh. Gosh. But anyway, <clears throat> enough about me. Enough about me. All I know is that uh, yesterday turned into a beautiful, beautiful day. And as bad as my knees felt... Um, I'm going to say this. I actually managed to get up and go. It, it turned. It, it was so warm. I figured the warmth outside was going to help the knees, and it did a little. It got got a little bit better in the afternoon. You know, I didn't walk around a lot. I, I kind of stood and uh, uh, five minutes, six minutes at a time. But uh, it, it appeared to help. So I don't know. Maybe maybe. It's, maybe it's all in my mind. I don't know. Uh, maybe we have to start something new, and we could call this. Let me see. Um, we could call it MK, the MKI, the Marshall Marshall's knee, knee, knee Index. The Marshall Knee Index. That's it. <laughs> yes, and uh, and you know uh, we could we could see what Marshall's knees are doing in the morning, and project um, what kind of a day it's going to be from that point on. Yeah, you know, I think I think I think we're onto something there. I think yeah. we're onto something there. Or, or you're on to something there. I'm not on to something there. Well, you know, the, the body is the best uh, the best forecaster of weather. You know that. Uh, you know, uh, uh, corns and bunions and things like that, they all swell up when low pressure is approaching. So people with arthritis and things like that, uh, that all gets worse as low pressure and moisture approaches. And it gets better on the opposite side. So, uh, you know, what's, what is more uh, fail-proof than that? I don't think anything. Well, you know, when you talk about the weather this weekend, uh, and Saturday you say it's going to be okay, right? Not bad. I mean, there's a, a, rap, a, a, a rabies vaccination clinic going on at Housatonic Valley Regional High School from 10 to 12. Uh, there's a march to end gun violence on the Salisbury Town Green Saturday at uh, uh, 10 a.m. Sunday, uh, takeout pancake breakfast, Sharon Volunteer Ambulance from 7 to 10.30, but also Sunday, the Copake Grange is having their, they're turning it into the Cupcake Grange. They're having a fundraiser where people can sample 500 cupcakes, a dollar a sample to raise funds. Uh, and also they're dedicating a big watering urn up in Norfolk uh, on Sunday afternoon as well. So uh, so you think that Sunday is a day where there are going to be more, more important showers? Yes, uh, they'll become more widespread in the afternoon. So, uh, again... Uh, if you have to make outdoor plans, base it more on Saturday than Sunday. More on Saturday than Sunday. Okay. All right. So now, so but you're still going up to the. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, you know, because Sunday's not going to be nice. Um, and uh, truthfully, um, to go up there, and, and I'm talking you know to go up there for the day. Uh, I don't have to worry about tolls, but, you know, with gas, I just don't know uh, if it's worth if it's worth my while to go up there Saturday 
and come back Saturday night. I don't want to, I really don't want to sleep there uh, if it's going to get damp. I really don't. Uh, so I may just, you know, next week we have to go because we have the dinner dance. Uh, but this week is not a must. So I may just, uh, you know, uh, take it off. And so the dinner dance is now official. Well, not yet. Uh, we're at, we're close to 70 people. Uh, the catering hall for 75. We'll call the catering hall this weekend and see if they'll let us go on 70. If they do, thumbs up. If they don't, we're going to have to cancel it. All right. Hey, you, know, you know what I really love about I found out over the past uh, week or two about streaming uh, the streaming services. Okay. I like the fact that I can single out shows like Seinfeld, and I right. can go back and I can pick... I can pick the show I want to see. Right. Like I picked the one yesterday where uh, Kramer was, you know, hitting golf balls into the ocean. And at the end, uh, George was at the ocean. He said he was a, he was a, a big ocean person. And a, a, a whale came up, a beached whale. And it was just a funny story about how George went on top of the whale and he, and he pulled a golf ball out of uh, the blowhole. Uh, and he was telling this story to Kramer and stuff. And if you watch the show, it was hilarious. It was hilarious. And I just said to myself, you know what? I wonder if I can find that. And I found I found that particular show in a matter of like a minute and a half. This is what so this is why the networks uh, streaming is is killing the networks. You can see anything you want, and you can call it up with literally in sixty seconds. I wonder, um, does, is anybody showing, uh, you probably don't know this, but is anybody showing like all the I Love Lucy episodes? Oh, yeah, they're, they're all over the place. Everything, everything's out there. See, I mean, you have, you have to search services and, you know, go from one service to another. But, uh, once you, you know, once you do the search for it, uh, it's amazing. So you can watch anything you want uh, if you, from your past. And literally it takes about a minute, a minute and a half to search. And that's right. just, that's really convenient. But well, what if you don't have uh, the streaming service that has that on there? Well, what you do is you type in the name, you, 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 search, the, you search for the show you want. Right. And it'll show you the options. It'll show you, you can watch this on this, you can watch this on this, you can watch this on uh, this. I got you. I got you. So, so you. so you have options. And if you don't want that if you don't have that streaming service well then you can't watch it that's a great that's a great thing yeah but i've but i've lined up all my my services now like i say because i got prime i get a lot of a, a lot of free things uh and great movies uh, from from amazon uh, and then because i have the fire stick uh, i have options to disney plus to discovery plus to uh i, I there's a oh, paramount uh which is cbs uh, Netflix, uh, I mean uh, Peacock, which is NBC. Uh, I have access with Fubo to everything else, Hulu and stuff like that. So I'm covered, and my cable bill totally comes to about now about including the internet service about $175 a month. That's really good. Yeah. So. so you did good. You did good, Marshall. So I mean, so that's you know, so that's really nice. You could pick out, you know, you know, I, hey. I want to watch. There was a McHale's Navy that I wanted to watch, and you type in some information, it pops up from the fifties. <laughs> That's just great. I mean, like, say you wanted to watch I Love Lucy, but you wanted to watch the one um, uh, in the candy factory without yeah. Ethel. Yeah, you can you, know, search, you can search anything, and you can search that and just go to get that rather than uh, you know try to figure out. Hey, uh, you know, do I have to watch the the whole series? It's uh, it, it, it's it, it's 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 amazing. All I can tell you is uh, I love it. That's great. I'm glad you're I'm glad you're happy. I haven't been watching too much TV this week, so. Well, it's uh, it's it's just it's just a really nice. It, it's a really convenient service, and I and sooner or later the people that watch like I don't watch America's Got Talent and shows like that, but if I'm stream if I'm looking through the news and I see something an interesting clip. Once again, I go to the TV, and I find the episode, and I watch the person perform. Right. I don't have to watch the whole show. Right. Well, that's great. I never turn on America's Got Talent or any of those shows. But if I see something that looks good, 
I can go watch to, that. I, yeah. I, can, I can go to it. It's pretty amazing. It really is. It's pretty amazing. Well, that's a, that's a, and folks, I don't own stock in any of the streaming companies. <laughs> just, right. I am not. I, I. It's just true. The way we watch TV now is changed, changed forever. Changed forever. And and they have ratings uh, for these shows because they sell them in in, in uh, reruns. So you know, like, the more people that watch the reruns, the more the reruns cost the uh, the services to to to, to show. So mm. it's a win win situation. Well, let's talk about our win win situation, maybe win lose situation for the weekend forecast. Again, not a problem today. For skies low eighties, there is a chance. Of a couple of light showers late tomorrow, mid 70s, but a better chance of showers and thunderstorms Sunday afternoon. Pat, I want you to have a good weekend. Do the same, Marshall. Be safe, everybody. See you Monday. All right, take care. Bye bye. Pat Pagano in the Weather Center this morning with the weekend forecast.